Hey guys, this is Franklin from Angleverse Studios. This is the fifth episode of Rhino Complete Course from the beginner to advanced level. In this video, I'm gonna talk about rectangles and polygons. Okay, let's get started. Just maximize this top view for now. Just type rectangle. Just like other function, you can simply draw a rectangle by clicking and dragging like this. If you want to specify a certain value, then type rectangle. Just click somewhere for the first corner. Then type the length, let's say 30. Enter. And now it's asking width here. Let's give some value for with let's say 50 then press enter. That's how we create a rectangle usually. Okay, let's see the other options within the rectangle. Before that, just place some points for reference. okay here we have three points usually when we draw a rectangle it will draw one one corner to another corner which is basically two points but in a three point we can snap three points to draw a rectangle just click the first point then second point then you you can snap the third point to in order to draw a rectangle and here we have center it's actually the one point just it's asking center of the rectangle just select a point if you draw a rectangle then it will create around the point if it confuses you you don't have to worry about it right now when we start working on projects you will understand everything what i'm saying right now okay let's see the other options and here we have vertical using this we can draw a vertical rectangle like this then we have around curve using this you can draw a rectangle around any curve by selecting this and like this and then we have a rounded using this we can draw a rectangle with rounded edges just click on this then you can draw a rectangle like this we can give a value to control the curve edges but the value must be between 0 to 1 the higher value for less curvature and the lower value for high curvature for example if i type 0 0.9 it will have a less curvature in the end of the rectangle but if i give a value around 0 0.6 it will have high curvature also you can use this rounded rectangle with these options also three point vertical center and around curve okay that's all about rectangles let's see the polygons next type polygon using this command you can draw a polygon like this if you want to change the number of sides in the polygon then just polygon then just click this num sides num sides is the number of sides you can specify the value how many sides you want let's say six and then press enter if you draw a polygon now it will have the number of sides which we gave and here we have mode we have two modes here one is inscribed and another one is circumscribed let me show you what does that mean 
for that i'm gonna draw a circle with the center point so i'm just placing a point and draw a circle with it and now type polygon now it's in inscribed mode if i draw a polygon now it will fix inside the circle okay let's change the mode to circumscribed if i draw a polygon now it will be outside of the circle that's the difference between these two modes okay let's see the other options polygon here we have edge just let's draw before that just draw a line if i draw a polygon now it will start from the center but by using this edge you can start a polygon from its from its edge like this like just type polygon and click this edge then you can draw it from the edge if you wanted to flip this just click on this then you can draw like this and next we have star using this we can draw a star like this if you wanted to change the number of sides then you can change it from here let's say 12 and press enter if we draw a star, star now it will have more sides and also we have vertical and around curve we have already seen this before in other commands it's the same here also you can draw a vertical polygon like this and if you wanted to draw a polygon around curve just click on this around curve and select the curve then you can draw like this okay that's it about today guys i'll see you on the next video